Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a Tuesday morning, or actually afternoon, sorry about that. I can keep my day straight together. Let's go out there and see what we can get going on this Tuesday. And let's enter the Gigaverse! Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Tuesday afternoon, um, day after Memorial Day. <clears throat> How was everybody's Memorial Day? No, I asked questions. <laughs> I really genuinely interested in anybody who's watching this, uh, how their day's going. So I've grabbed a uh, corner shop order, of course. You know, uh, Costco was closed yesterday, so I wasn't able to do any orders there. And it was a pretty slow day. Only worked a couple hours just to uh, just to try and get something going. And uh, so back at it today, and uh, I had corner shop turned on, and boom, Costco order, 30 something, 33 something dollars, eight miles, I think eight products. Looks like they might have updated the corner shop app a little bit. So if there's any new screens, I'll take pictures of them and see how it goes. But on the way over to there, and we'll see how we get this shopping done. Always with the laundry detergent. You knew it. Order dropped off. Uh, this customer I just delivered to, I've delivered to once before. It's my bro, Chris. He's a really good guy. I feel so bad because the first time I ever delivered to him it was a trailer park and I delivered to the same trailer park the time before, uh, but not him, to a different customer. And I had video of the whole delivery and it was a corner shop order. It's the first time I've ever had somebody on corner shop report items as missing. And not only items, almost 80% of the order is missing. It's a $400 order and I videoed, pictured, I mean, I even had the person uh, the customer reported missing certain things like bang drinks and things like that. They're on video taking them out of my hand. <laughs> it's just shameless. So when I got sent to this trailer park before for this Chris, this customer I'm talking about right now, uh, once I pulled into the trailer park, my first thought was, oh no, not again. <laughs> Are they, as everybody in this place, talking to each other about how to scam uh, getting orders from Costco? You know, it's, it's the things that we think of after we've been burned so many times doing these gig apps that it kind of sours you. But at the same time, the, the story changed. You know, I've communicated with Chris the last time I shopped for him the whole time. Uh, he, he was thanking me left and right while I was shopping. He didn't let me replace any items needed to be replaced with some other product. He accepted all of them. Uh, he said, that God bless you. Thank you for everything. And then when I got to the house to drop off, he ghosted me. Right? He stopped talking. He didn't come to the door. I rang the doorbell. Uh, you know, it, it was also four or 500 items. So yeah, I took pictures of the whole thing just to make sure everything was there. But he kind of ghosted me. So I'm like, what's going on here? Why would you ghost me already? <laughs> After we've been, I mean, I had just spoken to him less than 45 seconds before I pulled up to his house because I needed to ask him, hey, what's, you know, are you on the left side or right side? The left side of the street has the same street numbers. And he told me which one he was at. So I wanted to make sure I was at the right place. Yeah, GPS was off as usual. So he goes to me. I took pictures of everything. I contacted support while I waited there to let them know, hey, I don't feel comfortable because I've had this happen at this location before. And support said, you took the pictures, you did everything you could, we'll make a note of it. So I left. Um, I, as I was getting in my car and driving away, I saw him come out and start taking stuff away. And later on that day, I looked and he had tipped 25%. Didn't report anything missing and tipped 25%. I just felt so bad after that, thinking the worst, right? But it's kind of, you know, the things that sour, I have had so many customers, so many is the thing you think, right? I've done thousands and thousands of shops for people, and I've had maybe four times out of that thousand where a customer reported either the entire order missing or certain expensive items in the order missing, right? So just having four times out of that is enough to make me be cautious every time I'm doing one of these orders where a customer stops communicating or they're ordering a lot of cheap goods and then all of a sudden ordering steaks and lobsters. That's usually what gets reported miss. I don't necessarily care if they're going to report it missing or damaged. We don't really take a hit on that on Instacart. Um, but if they report the entire order missing, oh yeah, your your risk of deactivation. But Chris tipped me 25% before and it's the same customer again. Appreciate it. All the love. And let's get on and see if we can get another order. Third Costco order of the day on Corner Shop. $48 in batch, I think I saw without the tip. So it's just coming a lot higher than that. But 
you can see what what most of this work is. It's 300 and something 20 pound order. Look at all the waters. Hopefully it's not an apartment. <laughs> Let's get it done. Okay, so it was a quick run for the day. Total of three, uh, three deliveries with Corner Shop. I highly doubt I'm gonna do any more today. I'm still hot. Still recovering from the Saturday run and the few runs I had. So I think that's gonna be it for today. Uh, right now it's showing $87 on, with the Corner Shop uh, deliveries. I don't think I even spent two and a half hours doing that. Uh, but I'll put up the final totals in the time. Gotta wait for the tips to come in. They take about six hours. Um, so the 87 is with no tips, and I know with Corner Shop, you, if you've watched any of my other videos, you've seen how high they tip on, on this app. So I would not be surprised if by the end of all this, it's up to $120 for the day um, across these three orders. But that's the best we can hope for. If not, 87 is 87, right? In under three hours of work, that's a, that's a banger day for, day for me in my market. Definitely was a lot of work, though. It's not just carrying bags of food to the door. Those are pretty simple. These were, I think I must have carried 12 cases of water today and uh, probably eight to 10 cases of soda and some Gatorades. And so if you want to work out, these are the orders to take. But that will be it for today. Thanks for riding along with me guys. And we'll catch you in the next video. All right, first order of the day. And we start with, what do we know? <laughs> One thing, carrying all this water, right? at least for me, that's a salon pass, <laughs> one of those one, salon pass. What do you want to call them? One of those things that has like a, a chemical in it to like numb your your an area of your body, <laughs> kind of like Bengay. And uh, my elbow hurt, is hurting from carrying all these waters. So. <laughs> Got one of those on. Let's go get the rest of these items. Okay, so picked up this first order of the day in the corner shop. You see what it is? All the three items that. that uh, at the Costco. <laughs> Took me, I don't know, four minutes to, to shop and check out. It's empty, the store just opened, so we're gonna load this up and take it. Should end up being, I think, $25. And it's like four or five miles from the store, so not bad. Easy payout, quick little number. Let's get it going. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thanks for anybody who's watching this. Saw a little footage of the corner shop order that I took um, early afternoon here, and What's today? It's a Wednesday. Keep thinking it's Tuesday. Memorial Day threw me off by a day. How's everybody out there doing? Appreciate any of you joining and watching this. So we're heading to drop off the corner shop. Of course, have all apps turned on and firing. And Walmart Spark um, had a $27 double, stack double. Uh, with I didn't even look at the number of items. Usually the Spark orders that I've been doing, they've never been significant for me to... Uh, you know, you've watched my videos. I hope you've been watching my videos, seeing all the Costco orders I do uh, with all the heavy stuff that I'm carrying. So nothing I've had from Walmart can even compete with those kind of an orders. You know, but again, the, the Costco orders pay a lot better. There's a reason for it, right? If you're carrying all that heavy items and having to do all that, uh, you know, a lot of manual labor, which I'm not against, it's a good workout for me. I'm, I'm a little hefty. So this is hopefully helping me lose some weight. Got to change the diet as well. Hey. It is what it is. So on the way to drop off the corner shop, snag the double on uh, Spark, and we'll head out to do that one. Gonna put an offer up, I just got, just came in from Instacart, that I almost grabbed, because it was a $30 Costco batch, but I just happened to spot the miles, right? 25 miles, no good. Small number of items, um, it's a double stack, sure somebody's not tipping on it, meaning that um, Instacart will pay for that mileage. So it's probably a no tipper thrown into the stack, but. The mileage is what did it for me. If it was thirty dollars for you know eight or nine miles, I, it's only nine items. I would have taken it. But the mileage, it's going to be dead miles too. I could see the map, the twenty-five miles. It's taking me up into uh, the middle of nowhere where there's nothing around it. So the drive back is going to you know basically it's you know, I'm looking at close to fifty miles instead of the twenty-five. Gas as high as it is doesn't make any sense. So drop that one out of the way. But just wanted to give you an idea, kind of how I strategically pick batches. I know a lot of people probably in markets that don't have a lot of batches would probably take that one. You know, I understand we're not all in the same situations, but if you are in a market that happens to get you know, a decent amount of batches or things like that, you don't want to settle for that kind of a batch. At least I wouldn't. And I'd ask that anybody who does take that kind of a batch, if it's taking you to a zone that's gonna have other stuff to work on, then it, then it plays out perfectly. But if it's taking you to nowhere and you've got to drive the 50 miles 
the 25 miles back to get to any other any other place, would you take it? Put down in the comments. Appreciate anybody opening up a dialogue here, looking to talk with anybody who's watching this. So we're heading to do the uh, drop off, and we'll catch up with you after that. All right, shopping order. Uh, hey, hey, kitty. hey, kitty. hey kitty. Yeah, it looks like my cat. <laughs> Okay, corner shop order dropped off. Got a little cat video in there. That <laughs> cat looks just like my son's cat. It was pretty friendly, came up to me. So I'm heading to drop to uh, pick up the Walmart order now. And I'll put a little screenshot up of the offer. This order contains alcohol. So a couple things about alcohol deliveries. Uh, first, Firstly, if you're new to, to Spark, new to my channel, new to any of the gig delivery apps, any of them that I've ever done, you have to be 21. Right. I'll put up the policy from Sparks website itself where it identifies your 21. So you won't see, you should not see alcohol orders if you're under 21. Um, my son who, who was doing Instacart uh, before he was 21 couldn't even sign up to do alcohol orders. So I'm sure Spark, their policy is that. So you won't be able to see them if you're not 21. Uh, but then secondly to that, when you're delivering the order, um, you have to meet with the customer, obviously. You have to get their ID, and in the Spark app, you scan their ID, the back of their ID. It could be a driver's license, could be a um, uh, government-issued ID. I think almost every time I've done, probably 99% of the time when I've done alcohol delivery, the driver's license, the customer has it. Supplies it to me, scan it, you're good to go. Um, but I have had one case where somebody had a resident card or something to that effect, which was their ID. They didn't have a driver's license. I was also able to scan that in the app. The Spark app will tell you what forms of ID it can accept. Uh, but basically, you scan the back of the driver's license or an ID, wherever the barcode is, which will then fill in the fields with the person's name and their date of birth. You're obviously confirming that the picture on the ID matches the picture of the person you're delivering to. Um, from what I've seen from Spark, they will allow you to deliver to anyone in the home who's 21. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the person who placed the order, right? Because you don't even know that. If the person comes to the door, a lot of times the barcode sticker for the order, if you don't have one, you don't have the full legal name of the person um, to verify many cases. So as long as the person who comes to the door has the ID and matches their picture, obviously they gotta be 21 years of age. Um, obviously they, you don't want them to be intoxicated. Um, because you're kind of taking a risk. I mean, I've done a lot of alcohol delivery, so I haven't had an issue, knock on wood. But you are taking a risk in that if you supply the alcohol to a minor, um, when I was in California doing this kind of work, the police were operating stings where they would have a minor working you know, in, in a home where you were delivering groceries. So like on Instacart, Instacart even warned us all about it because it happened. They got a bunch of Instacart drivers who were not very, would scan their own driver's license in. Just to get around the whole thing, you know, the customer doesn't have an ID. You know, you don't want to you want to deal with the hassle. They were scanning their own ID in. Do not do that. You know, there are fines and uh, you know, penalties and potential jail time. Not that it would ever happen, but you know, I wouldn't want to take the risk. So I make sure that the ID matches the person. Obviously, they're not intoxicated. They're 21, and then you can scan it all into the app. And then the customer has to actually sign on your phone uh, to acknowledge receipt, right? Receipt of items. So they can't say, hey, I never got my alcohol. So you deliver it all, sign, and you go away. So obviously an alcohol order can take a little longer than a normal order, right? Because if I go to the door and I've got to wait on the customer to come to the door, you know, uh, what happens if they're not home? Knock on wood on Spark, I've never had that happen. But I did have it happen on Instacart where the customer was not at home yet. Um, I contacted the customer and they said, oh, I'll be at the house in 15 minutes. Uh, you know, I ended up waiting because they were tipping very good. If they were not, I would have contacted Instacart and said, customer's not here, cancel the batch, let me go about my day. I've also had one where I was delivering on an Instacart order and the customer I was delivering to was very clearly over 21. It was an elderly woman and her husband, um, but neither one had an ID. I contacted support on Instacart because I'm saying, I know they're over 21, come on. <laughs> what can I do to get around this? And I had been told that support can push you through it, but the two or three support agents I had said, without the ID, you're not allowed to take it. Right? You can put in whatever, but you, you should not be taking it. 
at that point, I was almost going to scan my own ID in, but decided, no, I'm not gonna take the risk. The elderly woman was very nice. I said, I'm sorry, ma'am, I can't. I can't. Her husband was there. Neither one had an ID. Uh, both looked like they hadn't left the house in quite some time. And it was, you know, two or three bottles of vodka. I said, ma'am, I can't deliver it because you don't have an ID in the apple. And she said, I appreciate it, I understand. She had a lot of other groceries as well. So I delivered all the other groceries and ended up taking the alcohol. Instacart's policy is, Take it back to the store and they'll give you a bump. If you don't want to go to the store, right, they want you to dispose of it. So literally just take a picture of you pouring the alcohol out. Who's going to do that? <laughs> you know that most shoppers are just going to keep the alcohol themselves. Just pour it into another bottle and keep the alcohol themselves. Not a good policy. But in that scenario, I, I was close to the store. So I took it back and they gave me an extra $10 for taking it back. I just had to show the receipt. So some of the things to pay attention to if you are delivering alcohol it is a little bit more than regular deliveries but I'll say this alcohol orders are usually the orders that give me the best tips they give me the highest paying tips and that is what it is on this particular order it's a $28 double on spark and it's only three or four miles from the store so I'm it's almost an 18 or $19 tip and all the spark orders I've had that have a, a, a big tip on them are alcohol orders. So you might want to uh, look at taking these. Don't be scared to take them. They are good orders. So we're heading over to the Walmart, catch up in a bit. All right, waiting at the Walmart. Oh, nobody coming, just waiting here to pick up. How long is it gonna take them? I don't know guys, we'll see. Okay, waiting at the Walmart. It's been a little over three or four minutes, but at least get to see something interesting. Looks like this Walmart's air conditioning unit broke down. So they got to lift it onto the roof and get this crane right here. And somewhere over there is the box with the AC unit in it. Yeah, it's like over there. So this thing's gonna lift it up onto the roof, I'm assuming, I'm assuming. Order picked up, took a little longer than normal. It took about 10 minutes. One thing I'll recommend you do um, depend, you, you'll get to know your stores as you do more of these. Again, a lot of it's gonna be market dependent, a lot of it, all kind of variables associated with the Spark work. Uh, the store itself is gonna be, play a major factor for you. So it took longer for them to bring the items out. When I pulled in, I checked in like I normally do at any other one. Um, a person came out to another car next to me, one of, one of the associates came out and delivered to the car next to me who came in after me and then asked what I was there for, and I gave them my number. They didn't see I checked in. So if I had to, if she had to come out, I might have been sitting there longer. There's a number, at least in all of my Walmarts, I'm pretty sure they it's everywhere. When you pull into curbside pickup, there's a phone number there for you to call. I would recommend as a double check just to call that number. Tell them, hey, I'm here. I checked in on the app. Sometimes they don't see that, depending on the store. This is this store is one that I went to right now. Is one that has an incentive going right now. What I'm seeing in my market, you might see the same thing. Comment down below if you are. When they give an incentive to specific stores, it's usually that store has increased volume, or more so than not, it's a very inefficient store. Um, it, you are gonna have longer wait times picking up items. Um, there are probably, I've got about, I don't know, 10, 15 Walmarts within a seven or eight mile radius of me. So I've got a lot of Walmarts, a lot of neighborhood ones, a lot of super centers. Um, I'll say this, at least for my market, um, the neighborhood ones seem to be more efficient in my market. Maybe because they have less items, I don't know. They just seem to be more efficient. They have more employees working the curbside pickup. When I pull up, you've seen in some of my other videos, there are multiple people there. It takes less than a minute for them to bring the items out. They're watching the GPS to see when you get there and they pull up and they get written up if they don't get it out to your car in under five minutes. This particular Walmart, which I've only been to three or, time, three or four times since doing Spark, only when there's incentives, and the tip is high. If this was a $13 order, it's it's a double stack. If there was no tip on this order, which is what the base pay from Spark would have been, might have gotten as high as 15 or 16, it doesn't make sense. You're waiting 15 to 20 minutes at the Walmart, then you gotta drive, then you gotta deliver two different stacks. So uh, in my market, that's not a good deal. Lottery time, ah, watermelon, yay. All right, drop off done on the way to do the second delivery. This Texas weather is crazy, dudes. 
it was sunny as can be, and it is sunny. I'm gonna cross over this cloud cover that I'm under, and it's sunny, it's like 91 degrees, and then here comes some rain in the middle of all this. What kind of weather we got going on here, man? Come on. <laughs> You'll see, it went from pouring down hard, I'm gonna come out from underneath the clouds, and well, it's not gonna be raining anymore, sprinkling. It's very strange weather. 91, humid, raining, sun out, sun down, sun out, cloud come. <laughs> so I'll have to deliver this uh, alcohol and catch up after we get there. Gate, gate, they didn't give the gate code either. Piggybacking in, baby, let's go. One of these is a life vest, okay. All right, drop off done, simple. A very nice woman was waiting at the door, had her ID ready to go, we had a little jokes with each other and dropped it off, very simple. Put up some of the screenshots of when you're doing alcohol delivery, at least put where you can take the picture and the name fills in. I won't obviously have the customer's name fill in there, but um, just to screen what you would see when you're there. So it's been uh, an hour and 40 minutes and I've done the two orders, done the corner shop, then the spark, have to wait for the tips to come in. I think I'm gonna pause for a little bit, you know, because I don't see any orders coming right now. And I wasn't planning on staying out that long right now. I just want to see how quick I could knock out a couple of orders. Hey, Dino Pool, stay still. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, it'll end up being, it was $27 for the Spark order and probably be about $25 for the Corner Shop order. So close to 50 bucks, a little over 50. That's if I don't get tip baited. Video coming soon on Spark and what I'm seeing, at least in my market on tip baiting. I see a lot of the people saying, they haven't really had that problem, but it's been pretty bad for me. And I communicate with the customers. Um, I meet many of them at the door. My rating is still pretty high. So I don't see, you know, where the tip, there's no transparency as to why the tip's being taken away. Uh, but it's it's happening to me a lot. It's not a small thing. And I know there's a lot of other people who said the same thing, a lot of people who don't. But another video where I'll do a full breakdown, show you orders, kind of show you how you can tell that you've been tip baited because that's the other thing. In the app, it's not very transparent how to see. But more to come on that. For now, we'll pause. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. All right, back at it. Took that little lunch breaky break thing and grabbed another corner shop order. I think that's probably what I'm gonna do mostly today. I saw Instacart right now is having an issue with the payment card, so I couldn't even do a Costco order here. I'm seeing it all online. Even in the app, when I opened it up, it said something about uh, I only use the credit card option of Instacart. Well, Costco's Instacart card is a debit card, and they won't accept any other way. So definitely couldn't get any Instacart orders going here at Costco. So it'll be corner shop for the rest of the afternoon. And I got some video editing to do. So let's head on in. Okay, finished shopping that order and on the way to deliver. The GPS has got to be, I, both Google and Apple are completely, I don't know, I'm not getting it. When I took the offer, it showed that it was uh, eight miles from the store for the delivery. And in Google, if I input the address manually, it shows that it's eight miles from the store. But when you click to start the directions, it's now 13 miles to drive it. So I don't get it. Why wouldn't they have shown that it was actually 13 miles? Makes no sense to me. Apple did the same exact thing. When I input the address manually, just before you hit directions, it shows it's gonna be eight miles. But when you actually hit to start the drive, it shows it's gonna be like 11, 12, I think it said 14. So a lot longer driving miles than what the GPS showed was gonna be to there. So this is, this maybe have been a bad order that I took because at least it's all highway miles, but coming back might be some traffic for me. So I don't know. I'll be and I'll be a completely out of my zone. So this might have been a, a bad order for me to take. But on the way to do the delivery.
Time to put on my food delivery hat. Took an Uber, $11, five miles at Whataburger. Let's see where we get it. Dropped off that uh, Whataburger order and was ready to call it a day when boom, Uber, it looks like Uber Eats wants me to do some work tonight. So it dropped me down with a, uh, I think it was a $10 or $11 order. Didn't get a screenshot, but I'll, I'll put up the final totals anyway when I get it. But it was $11 for five miles or four miles to uh, Lynn's Chinese place. So heading over there to pick it up right now. All right, dropped off that Uber order. Nice, fast pickup, beautiful, sweet delivery and waited about a few minutes it's the dinner rush but I'm not seeing anything popping up on uber and I was gonna stop anyway so I think we're gonna call it a day um, I'll put the totals up towards the uh, towards the end of here just gotta wait for some tips to come in on corner shop so I did two corner shops orders a uh, spark delivery and two uber eats orders all told I should be close to 100 bucks if spread out across all of those which is usually my daily goal and uh, so that'll be it for today's video appreciate you guys riding along appreciate anybody who spent any little bit of time watching this uh, like subscribe turn on the bell notification if you enjoy any of this content let YouTube know we'd like to see more of it and I hope you're having a great day and you're out there making your, your cheddar and your markets and getting through and we'll catch you in the next video guys thanks